Copenhagen has one of the few citywide integrated energy systems in the world. By integrated we mean that it has a co-generation of electrical power and heat. One of the advantages of having such a system is that we utilize the heat that would otherwise be wasted from the power generation. And that's the base load of the system. The history of this heating in Copenhagen goes back more than 100 years. When the uh, decision was taken to uh, utilize the heat from power stations, it was at the same time decided to have a transmission network to make this possible. And uh, that's about 25, 30 years ago that decision was taken. What we have learned is that planning is essential. It's very important to have a plan that covers the whole city that has a certain amount of future proving in it so that we are able to foresee what will happen in the next 10, 20 or 30 years. We know that the system itself, the pipes, will last 50, in some cases perhaps 100 years and uh, the heat production will change over 20 years perhaps. This is one of the underground heat exchanger and pump stations of the central transmission network of Copenhagen. All cities, all countries have different conditions, but the general concept of an integrated citywide system is very attractive to a number of cities around the world. One important aspect uh, of district heating is the um, possibility to meet some environmental goals. Just to give you an example, one of the main drivers in Milan, in northern Italy, where we right now are looking at a strategic plan for a transmission network, one of the main drivers here has been the environmental benefit to Milan of moving local energy production outside the city and then have a distal heating system taking the heat from that location into the city. Mm -hmm.